the historical and magnanimous entry of the Patna Jesuits into the princely state of Rajputana, the land of valiant brave hearts, traces its inception to the days of Sir Mirza Ismail, the then Prime Minister of the independent state of Jaipur. Having visited St. Xavier's School at Patna, he grew highly impressed with the excellent quality education imparted by the Jesuits. He shared his dream of setting up a similar educational establishment in Jaipur. This invitation, along with his promise to grant adequate land to a suitable site with classrooms, administration block, quarters, furniture and equipment, is what marked the Jesuit missionary enterprise and its inception in the land of the erstwhile princely territory of Rajputana. While civil and ecclesiastical level procedures took its course, the Capuchin missionaries offered the Jesuit fathers a small school in Guard Gate. The mission took shape in 1941, bearing the name St. Mary's School. The dry desert state of Rajasthan, with its people craving for an academy of quality education, its youth striving to inculcate sublime values, the children aspiring to grow wings to fly, now was soon going to become a dream come true. For nearly 40 years, the Jaipur Jesuit community, comprised of American fathers, their outlook, approach and implementation to the enterprise conceived by them is still alive till today, when you behold the school building and its aura. Their impeccable contribution in the field of education has left countless memories in the hearts of its alumni. Years passed and 15 American priests numbered down to around 7. They were replaced by Indian Jesuits who spearheaded the dedication and commitment to the cause of education with similar vigor and zealous caliber, projecting the motto, Duis Fortitudo Mia, believing in the fact, God is my strength. The Jesuits continue to render their incalculable services to the state of Rajasthan and its people. From its first principal, Father Robert Ludwig in 1943, to the present principal, Father John Ravi, nine principals have served the office, each distinct in his ideology, each clear about his vision. Over the years, Sir Mirza Ismail's dream of St. Xavier's remaining an elite school reserved exclusively for the royal classes of the Jaipur Raj had to change with the new challenge of catering to the needs of masses of the opposed classes, retaining the same quality of educational standards as before. This decision brought about some major radical transitions. The doors of St. Xavier School were now opened to the financially weaker sections of the society and the middle class families. To support this cause, Hindi now became the medium of education at the primary level. The age-old hostel had to be closed down, transforming the block into the new primary wing. The 38-year-old All Boys School now sported a different look in 1989, with little girls in tunics entering the portals of St. Xavier's co-educational school. The Jesuit fathers had recognized the importance of educating the girl child for the development of a healthy society. They also realized that the integral, emotional and psychological growth of the youth requires boys and girls to interact with each other on a healthy manner right from their childhood. The Jesuits collaborated with the Congregation of Jesus and Mary in 1986 to facilitate the administration of the primary school. Two decades later, viewing the evolving social realities of the country, the school rolled back to a fully English medium pattern as it is today. The Jesuits facilitated manifesting God's compassionate love, especially for those who are abandoned by their family and society, by inviting Mother Teresa in 1984 to lay the foundation stone of a home for the dying destitute run by the missionaries of charity adjacent to the school campus. Dr. Aquino Nazareth, a benefactor of the Jaipur Jesuits, donated her property Nazareth Nivas in 1978 to St. Xavier's. Over two decades, this venue was used for various educational purposes and vocational training. The Chief Minister of Rajasthan Mr. Ashok Geloth inaugurated St. Xavier's College three years ago in the premises of Nazareth Nivas. The college will move to Nevta 
Ajmer Road in a few years time where a university is going to be set up. Music and dance allows the student to grow and bloom in the field of extracurricular activities. It relieves the child from stress and boredom of studies and elevates him to a close connect with culture and aesthetics. St. Xavier's is known for promoting sports culture among the youth. The lush green play fields is something of great pride. Students enjoy and benefit from the facilities provided to them for their physical growth and development. With the inauguration of Father Batson Sports Complex, St. Xavier's School Jaipur has opened a new chapter in terms of sports infrastructure. Games like badminton, table tennis, squash and snooker have attracted budding sports persons to enhance their sporting skills while state-of-the-art gymnasium and Olympic level swimming pool stand out as the highlight of the complex. Right from the beginning of their presence in Jaipur, the Jesuit fathers have attended to the spiritual needs of the Christian community of the city. Ever since 1979, St. Xavier's Parish has been working independently to serve its parishioners fulfilling their social and religious needs. The Jesuits recognized the need of reaching out to the rural sector and providing them quality education. A new initiative was carried out to establish a Jesuit school at Mahua village of Dosa district, 120 kilometers from Jaipur. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them, said Walt Disney. The Jesuits not only have dreams for the people of Rajasthan, they also cherish a spiritual mandate to strive constantly and perseveringly for the greater glory of God. According to John Dewey, arriving at one goal is the starting point of another. The Jaipur Jesuits constantly seek ways and means to build something more than what already has been accomplished by the efforts put in by their predecessors. This value of challenging ourselves to produce better than the best is the lesson that the students of the school, college, vocational center and the parishioners of St. Xavier's are imbibing every day. This inspiration and motivation is the key force behind changing a dream to reality. Doing your best and a little more. Rising beyond defeat. You can be beaten but not your confidence. Embrace challenges as stepping stones to success. The Jaipur Jesuits march on. Savior, cheer for Savior, come on, gold and blue. For God's strength that's on our breast, our watchword, sure and true. S T X A V I E, that's our noble brand. We'll fight for right and do our best for God and our land. Cheer for Savior, cheer for Savior. Come on, gold and blue, for God's a spring that's on a crest, our watchword sure and true. S D X A V I E I, that's our noble brand. We'll fight for right and do our best for God.